Come on, highly favored. <laughs> I want to read to you from Colossians chapter 1. Verse 15, it says, We look at this son. Message translation. We look at this son and see the God who cannot be seen. We look at this son and see God's original purpose in everything created. For everything, absolutely everything, above and below, visible and invisible, rank after rank after rank of angels, everything got started in him and find its purpose in him. He was there before any of it came into existence and holds it all together right up to this moment. And when it comes to the church, come on, he organizes and holds it together like a head does a body. He was supreme in the beginning and, wait for it, leading the resurrection parade Come on, come on, come on, come on. There should be a praise right there. He is supreme in the end. From beginning to end, he's there towering far above everything, everyone. So spacious is he, so roomy that everything of God finds its proper place in him without crowding. Not only that, but all the broken and dislocated pieces of the universe, people and things, animals and atoms get properly fixed and fit together in vibrant harmonies all because of his death his blood that poured down from the cross come on make some noise in this place we serve a risen savior Jesus Lord we've come to give you praise this morning we've come to pour out our praise Oh God, we step into this place with a praise in our spirit and we release it right now in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Come on, give him praise this morning. One, two, intro, two, three, four. Come on. Verse. We say, Oh, you are God. And we lift you up. We keep praising, we won't stop Giving all we got It's your worthy of all glory And oh, there is no other You are forever Lord, over all There's nobody like you No one beside 
on, when the praises go up, the blessing comes down. Amen. Say, open up the windows of heaven. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing. Do what only you can do, Lord. Do what only you can do. Cause we wait for you. We wait for you. We wait for you. To walk in the room. So we wait for you. Yeah. We wait for you. Walk in the room. Here we are, standing in your presence. Here we are, standing in your presence. Your kind of glory come down. Glory come down. Here we are, in your presence. In your presence, to kind of glory come down. Release, release the fullness out of your spirit. To kind of glory come, to kind of glory. Release, release the fullness. We want more, Lord, to move. We want more. Come on. We 
just before we have a week that we're about to have of incredible supernatural visitation. You see, within every single one of us this morning as worshipers, there is a capacity that we carry. For God to do what you believe in Him to do, there has to be an increase of your capacity on the inside. And this morning is the time for increase. I don't know what's holding you back. I don't know what's limiting. But this morning, there needs to be an increase of expectation. You've got to increase in terms of your hunger. You've got to increase in terms of your revelation of who Jesus is and what the Holy Spirit desires to do in your life. You've got to increase this morning in your faith. We've got to increase this morning as a house for what the Holy Spirit is about to pour in. So right now, I want you to lift your hands. I want you to open your mouths because there is a cloud that's beginning to form. There is a tsunami that's about to hit us in every level and on every way. You can't say any longer, God, I want to be in a comfortable place. I want to go this far, no further. Listen, when the tsunami comes, it will sweep you off your feet. You won't have time to consider your nice little comfortable boxes, your religious notions about how and where and when the Holy Spirit will move. There is a cloud this morning and I want us to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Expand, stretch this morning. Come on, lift your faith, open your mouths, begin to worship in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hear the word roaring as thunder with a new future to tell. For the dry season is over. Yes. There is a beginning to swell. Sky, heavy with 
with blessing lift your eyes offer your heart jesus christ open the heavens now we receive the spirit of god
say this morning, church, that the day of Pentecost didn't just happen without 120 believers gathering for 40 days on their faces with desperate hearts crying out. They didn't know what was going to hit them, but they knew that they needed what only God could do in their lives. That Welsh revival didn't take place on its own without a group of believers gathering together with desperate, hungry hearts crying out week after week after week after week. You see, there is something about a desperate cry that gets the attention of heaven. And I don't know this morning if we've really reached a place of real hunger, of real desperation, like that dry and thirsty land. I'm not just talking about you personally. I'm talking about this nation right now. Come on, I want you to cry out right now for your neighborhood. Cry out for those you work with. Cry out for your employees this morning. Cry out for those that God's connected you with. Let's hear a sound, a drought-breaking sound in this house this morning. In Jesus' name, come on. 